In February this year, the Somali government announced it will ban the import, export, manufacture and trade of single-use plastic bags in the country. The ban, a directive from the Minister of Environment and Climate Change, should have been in place by now, but its implementation was delayed to September. The ministry's chief says Somalia is simply following a new global trend. The decision to ban plastic bags is based on the impact they have on the environment, particularly on the health of biodiversity, including animals, plants and other living things. This is not an isolated case. Across the globe, other countries have also banned the use of plastic bags. For example, Indonesia was one of the first to implement the ban in 2002, while other countries followed suit. Several conventions were held to discuss its impact. Single-use plastic bags might soon be out in Somalia. And while that might bring inconvenience to some, it presented fresh opportunities for others hoping to fill the vacuum. Here at an event called Plastic Kills Switch to Baskets and Save Lives, female entrepreneurs are hoping their cultural products, such as traditional baskets, can do just that. The ban on single-use plastic is very significant for us women because its continuous use is not good for the environment. Thus, it will help reduce the cleaning burden and secondly, it will boost revival of our culture, particularly use of traditional basket, which was not in use for decades, and that will help generate income for women weaving these cultural baskets. We are very encouraged by the response of the traditional women organizations and how handmade baskets will help replace single-use plastic after the ban takes effect. It will boost culture by inviting the young generation to learn more about their tradition and generate income for them. Environmental activists have welcomed the government initiative, but they say the private sector can also make valuable contributions. As a civil society organization, we strengthen our call to the Somali government to fully implement the ban on single-use plastic bags by the end of September. As environment activists, we have engaged the authorities in formulating relevant policies. We also call upon the business community to play their role in the ban by stopping the import of plastic products. And in the end, we hope to join countries like Rwanda and Kenya, which have banned the use of plastic bags. Somalia perhaps more than most countries around the world, is bearing the brunt of climate change. And while the nation self bears little responsibility for what's happening, this initiative shows it's looking to do its bit to mitigate the effects. Environmental analysts say that the government is likely to have problems enforcing the ban, but it's yet another step in the right direction for a country which continues its efforts to reintegrate with Africa and the rest of the world. Hamid Kahi, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.